Hey YouTube, this is Mike and Matt making another lightsaber rotoscoping tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop to create the lightsaber effect. Um, this isn't going to be much different from the tutorial I made previously, um, mainly because GIMP and Photoshop share similar functions. So I'm, none of this material is really new, uh, but it's going to be covering a different program. Um, so first I want to go into the basics of what a lightsaber is supposed to look like. And everybody who's going to make a lightsaber has already seen Star Wars, but it's still good to mention. Um, lightsabers, uh, they're composed of two elements. One is the core and one is the glow. And uh, a lot of people have asked, well, how do you make it look real? Well, the trick is you have to make sure that you have a white core and you have a, a spanning glow. And, and basically... What a lightsaber is, it's a light source emitting a color. So the blade will never have color. You're never going to see something that will look like, uh, like, uh, hold on. Let me do this real quick. All right. You're never going to have a lightsaber that looks like that. All right. That's bad. And, and I've seen this before when people have done a saber effect, the core will never be colored. The core is white. Uh, because it's so bright and intense. Um, so, no, that's bad. Don't do that. Um, and that's the whole point of this tutorial, is to show you how to do it the right way. Um, here is a photo of a couple people at cosplay um, fighting. And uh, what we're going to do is take their Force Effects lightsabers and turn them into real lightsabers. And this can be achieved a number of ways. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to build off a solid layer. Uh, basically, what you need to do to make a lightsaber is make sure you're using a solid layer. What that means is don't use, like, layer, new layer, uh, necessarily, because that's going to create a transparent layer, and you can't really get color from that. So what I like to do, and this is just me, you can change this if you want to, uh, you know, play around with it, but I like to duplicate the background layer that I'm using, the, the image, uh, and I like to create another layer to draw on top of, and what I'll do... This is going to be our base layer that we're going to draw the lightsaber on. So let's rename it Lightsaber Blade. All right. And we're going to take this layer here, and we're going to say Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. You can use Levels too, but I'm going to use Brightness and Contrast. Turn the brightness down, turn the contrast down. So now what we have is a black background. Uh, so now what we're going to do is put it on screen. Okay, so what you have when you set this to screen is you're looking through a solid black layer, and you need that solid so you can get the color. All right, so don't worry about the technicalities behind that, but that's just what you need to do. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to select mask this here, and you're going to make sure it's selected on polygonal lasso tool, and then you're going to click on the lightsaber blade at the very bottom, up near the top, kind of round it out a little bit because no lightsaber has a flat top uh, and then you're gonna draw down to the bottom here and there you go now you have the lightsaber blade selected perfectly and you're gonna right click say fill select white alright so there you go you have your core if I turn off these background layers you can see that this lightsaber blade layer is the blade layer alright so when you turn on the image again you can see through it now if you had this set to normal your lightsaber blade layer it just be black. So basically what it does is it passes all the light objects through uh, so that you can actually see them. All right, now, <clears throat> here's the next step. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, you have to start duplicating layers to create glows. So let's duplicate the lightsaber blade layer. And we're going to rename this Glow 1. All right. Then you're going to say Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Make sure you have Glow 1 selected. Now, this looks really nice. I like what it's done already. It's made a really nice glow. It's at 7 pixels. Now, this is important. This value you see here, 7.1, is not a constant value. It's not always going to be 7.1 to create a lightsaber glow. It depends on how large the lightsaber is in the image, how close it is to the camera, etc. Uh, you can play around with this. Uh, you don't have to keep it at 7.1. So I'm going to switch it to 5 because I want to kind of build some lightsabers here. Uh, some lightsaber glows. So we've got glow number one done. All right. So what I like to do is I duplicate glow number one. And I'm going to call this glow two. And you can see the glow gets thicker. 
what we're going to do is go to Gaussian Blur again, and we're going to set it up to twice of the original value. I had 5 as the original value, so let's put it up at 10, okay? And then hit OK. That glow is starting to look really good. I don't think I need to make any more for that because it seems like it looks pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is start doing the color. And we'll start with glow number two. So we'll go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And you have three tones here that you can play around with. Shadows, Midtones, and Highlights. I start with Midtones, mainly because the program puts it on that to begin with. But that's what we're going to start with here. And because this guy kind of looks like, I don't know, a retired Jedi, we're going to make his lightsaber a color that a Jedi would have. So we're going to bring up, let's say, blue. I like blue. And that's just the mid-tones. So don't forget, we're going to be playing around with these other tones. So just bring up the blue, and you get this little kind of faded blue effect. And then go to highlights, bring the blue up on that. Probably do about there. doesn't really matter. You can play around with these, kind of customize them the way you want them. And then shadows, bring the blue up a little bit. Not too much. You don't want the glow to be too solid on the edges. And that looks good. Um, then you're going to do the same thing with glow number one. And you don't want kind of a white fanning out here. Like you can see this white gradient. You don't really want that. That's supposed to be more color. Um, so go to highlights first for the second glow. That's what I always do. Bring up the highlights on blue. Uh, for mid-tones, bring up the blue a little more. In the shadows, bring up the blue. That looks about right um, for our purpose of what we've got right now. Now, it still doesn't look like a lightsaber, at least not that much, because the blade is too sharp. As you can see, I've never seen a lightsaber that has a perfect point. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make this look more like a real lightsaber. Select the lightsaber blade layer. That's this one here. All right, and say image... Uh, actually, sorry, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to put that at a value of not 2. Let's try 1. 1 looks good. Now, because we have this as a solid layer set on screen, we can do levels. So go to Image Adjustments, Levels. All right, and this is important. You want this end to be rounded out. And you have these three little dials here. And you can play around at these dials you know, once again, any way you want to, you can make the blade a perfect, clean cut blade, or you can make it fan in a little bit, but it rounds out the edges because you've done Gaussian blur, so that kind of rounds out the ends. And that's kind of the way you want it, like that. That actually looks pretty good. Now, you're going to merge these three layers, and now you have one solid image. This is now your lightsaber. When you merge all those layers together, they become their own image, and that's good. Um, if you'll notice, when you do that, it reverts back to normal mode. So you're going to want to put that on screen so you can see your background again. All right. So that looks good like that, but we're going to just play around with the colors a little more on this one layer. All right. Just kind of increase the glow color. I like that. That looks more like a Star Wars lightsaber right there. Yeah, I like that. So, as I said before, all of this is your preference. You can do all of this the way you want to. You don't have to do it any specific way. The way I do it is just the way I found it works for image editing purposes and making it look more like a movie lightsaber. And so that looks, that looks pretty good. So that's basically how you do it in Adobe Photoshop. Um, I get a lot of questions about this effect, like... Uh, problems with layers, getting them to filter through correctly. The thing is, is just play around with it. You know, if it's not quite working out, just play around with it. You know, watch my videos step by step and follow it exactly and see what it does for you. If it doesn't produce an image you like, play around with it. Change it a little bit because art is that way. It's dynamic. So uh, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for those of you who are using Photoshop. If you can't afford Photoshop, there's uh, GIMP. And I've got that video linked. There was a, an annotation at the very beginning of this video, and there's one right there at the top corner for you to go to the GIMP tutorial and watch that one uh, if you don't have Photoshop. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you later.